It's 2014 and the new year brings different challenges and change mm -hmm. for every family. For the family you're about to meet, it brings with it exciting possibilities and promise of a happier, healthier year. That's key. We're talking, of course, about the family of University of Maryland head women's basketball coach Brenda Freeze. Her son has battled cancer for more than half of his very young life. As Diane Roberts reports, it's a fight that both of Brenda's families have waged, the one on and off the court. Family is what it's all about for Brenda Freeze, the Maryland Terrapins women's head basketball coach for 12 Good, years. This is her work family. This is her husband, and these are her sons. What do you like about those kids? They just are so full of energy. They make me feel like a little kid again, and it's a, they're so smart too. Like they're two of the smartest little kids I've ever met, and they just. They're so fun to be around. Oh, you had to take a picture of it. The two families Aww. always intersect. The coolest thing is that, you know, I'm a part of a team. And, I mean, there's no better living example than what we go through, not only as a team, as a program, but what we go through at home. What Brenda and her husband, Mark Thomas, have been going through are daily chemotherapy treatments for their young son, Tyler. So now it'd be me. Diagnosed with leukemia at two, Tyler has had three years and three months of doctor's visits, medication, poking, and prodding. That was pretty tough towards the end, um, you know, late at night, you know, just to, you know, his sleep patterns, what the medicine would do, you know, waking him up through the night, you know, the, the spinal taps when he could describe, you know, that when they would put the milk, you know, in him to put him to sleep, that it would send shivers down his spine. Despite the pain and discomfort, Tyler's been a champ. He's just a strong little boy, and I think that it comes from his family. They instill that in both of them, Marcus and Tyler. They both have been through a lot as little kids, and I think that they just they are going to grow up to be strong people. I tell people it was like you were in a tunnel for more than three years, and then once we got close to the end of it, we could start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and now we've stepped into that light. Happy! Through it all, Tyler and his twin Marcus have remained upbeat, fun-loving kids. Good. They hang out with friends and tease each other. Their parents say Marcus has shown amazing compassion for his ailing brother. Brenda and Mark know they are lucky. It wasn't until I, I was on the oncology floor in Hopkins and I, every room had a story that would break your heart. And you know, we live our daily lives, most of us oblivious to that. Well, I was no longer oblivious to it. Um, so that was a huge eye-opener. When you're up in Hopkins, I mean, you know, I can escape from Comcast and I see this real world of what people are going through that, you know, don't have the, the outcome and the diagnosis that our, our son has been given. Happy end of chemo to you. Happy end of chemo to you. Tyler's final treatment ended with a party at Johns Hopkins Hospital place he'll only have to visit monthly now for about a year and a half. With that, the family knows they're not totally out of the woods, but Mark says their spirits feel lighter, and when they think about this new year, they have a positive outlook. It's a great feeling of optimism. You know, uh, it's a really good feeling. Um, feels like we're going to have a happy ending. In Prince George's County, Diane Roberts, WUSA 9 Sports. Now today was an extremely big day for Tyler. He got the port removed from his chest. That's the tube that's fed him that medicine for the last three years. Now, of course, the magic time for the family will be May 2015. That's when Tyler could be deemed fully cured. And the family plans to take a trip to <laughs> the happiest place on earth, Disney of course, World. Disney World. So those kids are the most precious things. We always see them at practice, and they're always so bubbly and up, upbeat and optimistic. And Brenda, of course, and her husband are such wonderful people. Gosh, thank goodness. Amazing. Thank goodness, though, that Amazing. he's in now. Oh, absolutely. We wish them the best. Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right.